time! Ha! Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be opening up two more packages. So let's get started. Alright guys, so we have two packages here today. This one is a pretty cool one. So, this is a mystery box that I had ordered a little while back, and this one's coming in from Gotcha Robot. And they used to do um, a lot of mystery boxes, I would say maybe once or twice a month, and I used to get them almost every time, maybe every other time. Um, so today they had put one out probably, I would say, uh, a month, maybe a half a month ago. I don't know what it was, but this is it right here, and I'm excited to open this up. I did order two, and this will be opened up at the end, so stay tuned. And if you guys are wondering what this huge box is here, this is actually from Grant. Now, if you guys don't know who Grant is um, he is the one that helps me out with all of my packages that I can't ship to Canada so Grant thank you so much so there should be about I would say three to four packages inside of here and I'm pretty excited to see what's in it all right guys so I just moved this to the floor so it's a bit easier for me to get these figures out of here but let's start with this one which is I'm not too sure Oh, okay, this is this is a good one. So, uh, a little while back, they had uh, put up on the Funko Shop a Care Bears car, and here it is, right here. All right, guys, so here is the Care Bears Cloud car. Now, I'm not sure which Care Bear comes, oh, it's Share Bear. So, you get Share Bear inside of here, and I don't think they've ever made a Share Bear before. Um, so, this is pretty cool. They did make this with the Share Bear. I'm, I'm glad that they did a different Care Bear, not one that they've already done before. It makes it a little bit cooler, um, because who wants another? I mean, I'm okay with getting another Good Luck Bear, but three is kind of crazy. Well, no, I guess if they made Good Luck Bear in the Cloud Car, it would have been four. Oh, I also noticed on top, guys, here is something pretty cool. So, for a little while there, I don't know if they're still doing this, but the Funko Shop was doing this thing where if you made an order, you would get a sticker with a different ad icon on it. So, this one here from this order, I got was Fruit Loops Toucan Sam. But anyways, guys, this is such an amazing pop ride. I really do love the detail on this. It's got the face on the front of it there. And I also like that they made it so it's kind of tilted as well to make it look like the cloud car is like flying in the air, which looks really, really great. The box is really well done as well. But yeah, just overall, just a really great pop ride. All right, guys, so next up, we have a couple smaller figures as well. I guess we'll do this one first. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Let me see here. Uh, oh, okay, so this is Priya from India. So this one would be the uh, pop around the world figure. And this one right here is Priya, which looks really great. So I did um, miss one of them. I think I have all of them up to, let me see here. I got, I missed Toshi. So I think I have every single one now up to Toshi. But the problem was is that Finley... Ozzy and Rosa are stuck at the post box right now, but at least I could get this one so I can secure one more out of the set. And Toshi is one of those ones that I missed on the Funko Shop. That is the only one I think that's sold out besides Barkingham. Barkingham was the first figure, so I could totally see why that one did sell out, but it's too bad that I did miss Toshi. And if you guys are wondering what the back of the box looks like, there they are right there. And if you guys are wondering, Toshi is from Egypt, and then the rest of them kind of look like the corresponding countries, but it's hard to remember all of them. But the one that I'm most excited about, which should be next, is Douglas coming from Canada. And what's really cool about these figures is that all of them come with a pin, which you can actually put into the Funko Passport. Now, I only have two of them inside of here because I have got a lot of them stuck at the post box, but at least I can add a third one to the set. And now this one would technically be the, what would it be, uh, the sixth one in the set, so it would go right there. And I'm glad that Funko is releasing these slowly instead of all at once because I feel like it's more fun to slowly collect these, and they do probably like, I want to say once every other month, I think, or once every month, I'm not too sure, but it's not so often that it's crazy, but it is fun to get them when they do pop up in the shop. And guys, there it is right there. There is Priya in the book. Now next up here, guys, we have a bit of a bigger figure and this one right here, oh, this is a good one. So this is part of the Pop Myths line. I've been trying to get every single myth and now with this one, I think we're only missing one. And again, the one that I have is stuck at the post office and that one is the Loch Ness Monster, the Emerald City Comic Con one. I'm really sad that that is stuck there and that thing's worth like $400 now. I did see part of the Funko auctions that they're doing on eBay. That one that they're selling through there is going for like almost 500 as of right now, or at least the last time I checked it, it was. And so yeah, this one is really great that I could get this to add to the set. Oh, I also noticed guys that there is a sticker on the inside here. It is the same one being the Fruit Loops one. So too bad I didn't get a different one but at least I got one. Now guys, let's see what Pegasus looks like. And I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna say this one looks very similar to the one from Hercules, but it is different. They made it probably as different as possible by making the Pegasus sitting down as well as there's nobody riding this one. And they only made the Pegasus from Hercules with Hercules riding Pegasus. So it totally makes sense that it is a little bit different. And I mean, it's got similar colors, but what can you do when you wanna make a Pegasus and a Pegasus again? They're gonna look similar. And even though it's in pop form, it still does look like a real Pegasus more than the other 
Pegasus does because the Pegasus from Disney is supposed to be animated and this one's supposed to be, I guess you could say, real life. And it does say on the back here, if you guys want to know, renowned in Greek mythology, this winged Pegasus is said to have carried thunderbolts for Zeus. The mighty steed also allowed Bellerophon, sorry, to ride him into battle against the monstrous Chimera, 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 ensuring a swift victory. Anyways, I tried. Okay, look, before I continue, you try to pronounce those words. Look at it. Mm -mm, you're not getting that one. Anywho, let's see what the last pop is in here because there is one more and I'm really excited to see what this thing could be. <gasps> I forgot about this one. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm gonna close this up. There's a pretty cool backstory to this figure right here and I forgot that Grant and his dad had picked one up for me. Um, so this right here is really crazy because ooh, this is something that kind of like crashed the Funko shop because probably know what it is now that I've said it. You guys probably know what it is. So let me just take it out real quick to show you because this right here is the Dwight with Princess Unicorn. And this figure here kind of was a little crazy because it went up on the Funko shop and everybody really wanted this figure. And because Funko had just updated their website, I guess it wasn't ready to handle so many people. And I'm not too sure how many people that was really. Could have been like 10,000, maybe 20,000. I'm not too sure. But you guys can see here, this one was really hard to get. The problem with this figure here was that it kept calculating shipping rights and the weird thing is about that is Funko Shop only ships within the US so it's always $6.95 and if you were lucky enough to live near the HQ you could have actually went that morning and picked one of these up and that's what Grant did for me so Grant thank you so much for helping me out with this but as soon as Hollywood and the HQ found out about this figure crashing the website they actually pulled them off the shelves making this a very sought after figure and this thing is supposed to be re-releasing on the Funko Shop during SDCC so I feel like this is going to crash the website even more and I mean I do love this figure I think this episode is really really funny it's one that I've seen probably 10 or 15 times now just because of how funny the episode is but it's also kind of funny that during this episode the whole point of it is is that Dwight is buying these to flip them for a higher profit and with them not being able to sell them on the website they're going for a pretty penny now but I would never sell this figure because I am trying to complete my office set so Grant again thank you so much for helping me out with this one anyways guys it looks like that is everything that Grant shipped over to me today so now let's open up our gotcha robot mystery boxes all right guys so I'm excited to see what's inside of here so I did order these a little while back and I actually want to check to see what the grails were for these boxes. All right, guys, so I just pulled it up, and if you guys want to see what the grails are, there they are right there. But yeah, there are some really cool ones. I see Bank Robber Joker, the Emerald City Comic Con Glow in the Dark Green Goblin, as well as a couple other Emerald City Comic Con ones as well. Uh, the Metallic Genie, a random figure, of course, is always going to be random pops, not just the grails inside of here. But yeah, there's some really heavy hitters, and I'm excited to see what I get. All right, guys, so there are two separate boxes inside of here, and I don't know which one to start with. I don't think it really matters because I don't know what's inside of either of them. So I guess we'll just go with this one. All right, guys, so what I'll do is I kind of have to open it up on the sides first, and then I'll show you guys. So let's see. Ooh, let's see what we got. Here we go, guys. I don't want it to fall out, but let's see what we got here. It's kind of hard to open it up. There we go. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. I can't see it. I can't see the viewfinder, so I wonder what it is. Something good? Something good? I don't know. Whoa, nice! Okay guys, so we got the Mark Hamill from Decon. Now, I think I do have this figure right here, but it's still a pretty sweet one. And I would say this is totally worth it for the box because I think I paid $40 for mine. This one is the one that came with a t-shirt. Um, so you don't get the t-shirt with it, but it's still an amazing figure. And the funny thing is, is that I'm trying to get every single Mark Hamill. So this is the one out of the four that I already own. It's too bad, but it's still a really great figure. Anyways, guys, I would say that is a really great first pull. Now, let's get into this one. All right, guys, so let me just open it up like this so it's a bit easier for both of us here. Now, let's see what we got. Fingers crossed it's something similar or better. Hey, better would be great. Um, but anyways, here we go. What is it? I don't know. Something good? Ooh, I'm nervous. Okay, here we go. Yes! Yes! Oh, my gosh. Yes! This is great! Oh wow, okay, this is perfect. I've been looking for this one. And you know what the worst part is about this one? Is you can't ship FYE orders to Canada. And I've even tried to ship them to the States and it won't let me. And I know that sounds weird, but it's probably something to do with like my PayPal or whatever it is. Canadian PayPals don't work on the Disney website. I don't think they work on GameStop or FYE. So this is really great. Oh wow, I've been looking to get this one for probably a month now, and I think this thing looks amazing. So if you guys don't know this episode here, this is the one where they're doing CPR training, and Dwight, for some reason, decides to cut the face off of the CPR doll and make a mask out of it. 
And this one was going for about $70 for a while now, but I think it's a little bit cheaper than that, but we're still gonna check to see what it's worth. And this thing right here was going for about $70 for a little while, but I feel like it's a little bit less than that now, but we're still gonna check. Oh shoot, I also forgot to tell you guys this. So the boxes are $34.99 each for one figure. So that makes sense why we are getting some more expensive figures every single time. I was thinking that they were $10 ones, but no, they're $35. And neither of these are considered grails on the photo here, but they're still really great pops. All right guys, so we're gonna start with scanning in Mark Hamill, just because I already own this figure and I think he's about $40 so we are making about $5 off this figure but uh, let's see what he's worth yep $40 exactly all right guys now here we go the heavy hitter here we have is Dwight now I know he was worth a lot more than they re-released him on the website um, which I'm okay with just as long as I can get him to be honest um, because I really did want to finish the office set so this one is a big help for it but I'm thinking this one's probably about 30 to 40 dollars I'm not sure but let's scan this guy in and see what he's worth <sighs> yep 36 so we made a dollar on this one well, anyways, guys, I would say we did make our money back on these because the one was 40 and the one was 36. So both of our boxes paid for themselves, which I think is great when you're ordering mystery boxes, because if you're getting mystery boxes that are like $10 and you're getting five to eight dollar figures every single time, there's no fun there. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you just want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if you know, <laughs> well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow.